Today we look at mass batching on IOTA, then we see what's on offer with Movathon, the current IOTA hackathon, and finally introduce ourselves to Nightly, the new third party wallet that integrates IOTA. Stop. No. IOTA Rebased introduces mass batching for smart contracts. Possible because the protocol features atomic transactions. This means that a single transaction can call up to 1,024 smart contracts. Interesting because this is where either all of the contracts in the transaction are confirmed or none of them are. So either everything in the transaction is true or none of it is. And with the capacity for 50,000 transactions, this means that IOTA can theoretically capture over 50 million data points in a single second. Now it's unlikely this will happen anytime soon, but let's start small with a real world example. And Twin will likely be where bundled transactions see the chain for the first time. And Twin's first main use case is creating digital twins for documentation. And it's easy to draw the line from Twin to TLIP where one of the main applications for TLIP is to streamline trade by reducing the paperwork. So practically, we could see a seller export documents from their CRM as part of the workflow, let's say 10 documents. And now we imagine the CRM is connected to the Tangle. And this is where the atomic transaction jumps in. It can commit each one of those documents to the chain, where each document is represented by a smart contract, maybe as NFTs with dynamic data, and each will have their own unique ID. And this is where automated integrations can kick in for the sender and receiver where their CRM can call the on-chain data with an API and automatically update the order on the sender side and automatically create a receive order on the buyer side. Now, does this sound boring to you? Well, it should. It's a real world use case and it's 60% of what personally I want for IOTA. It's real adoption that I think will drive us because the other 40% of what I want for IOTA is an engaged and inspired community who are actively using the chain. But that means you guys have got to engage in some degenerate activity. Story for another time. I like that the people in marketing gave a nod to one of Apple's most iconic ads. Let's watch. Here's to the builders, the dreamers, the disruptors, the ones who see blockchain as a movement. They challenge convention and turn ideas into reality. These are the movers, the shakers. Building with move to empower, secure, and decentralize. At the IOTA Movathon, we are igniting a movement to code, to create, to connect. Don't stand still. The future belongs to those who move. Hackathons are something I've been thirsty to see for a really long time, so I'm stoked to see it in action. The IOTA Movathon is inviting applications for move builders who are making things for DeFi, payments, tokenization, and tooling. This is IOTA's first run for a move hackathon, and there's a total of $150,000 in prizes. Hey, and I think it's good for a first pass because the move ecosystem is still young. IOTA needs to keep some hackathon funds in the bag till it evolves a little bit more. Registration is currently open at moveathon.build and active building goes until May the 4th where the code freeze happens. And that's where the judging begins and goes through a period of about 19 days, ending on May the 23rd. And there's also an award for the community favorite, so I'll keep you guys posted on the projects that are contributing. And lastly, the grand final happens in Singapore on June the 6th, 2025, where the top teams will showcase their work, connect with investors, and one will be crowned the champion of the ultimate prize. IOTA has been integrated into the Nightly wallet. Nightly already supports chains like Solana, Aptos, and Sui, so it's great to see that IOTA is now part of the mix. It would be interesting to see if they also include some sort of bridging function to enable seamless bridging between any chain. And this integration is currently using IOTA's rebased test network, and I'm going to give it a spin in real time. This is the first time I use it, so you guys are going to have to bear with me if I make mistakes. Okay, I've downloaded Nightly to my iPhone. So let's go ahead and open it up for the first time. 
Okay, we're in. We're going to go ahead and create a new wallet. Pin. Guys, you can't guess my super secure pin here. Next. All right, here's a secret <laughs> phrase. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with it, so it doesn't matter because we're just testing. So don't even bother trying to hack me. Copy secret phrase. Let's see what happens. Next. Status deactivated. We suggest keeping the biometry option activated. It's an additional safety step to your wallet and it helps you to unlock it faster. Okay. I'll go ahead and do that. Yes, let's allow it. Would you like it to send you notifications? No, not right now. Okay, let's go ahead and select the network from the drop down. It says Solana. Let's take a look. Oh, look at all these chains it's got. I heard it's right down at the bottom here, but that's interesting, isn't it? I wonder if they can bridge between each other using the app. I'll investigate that later, not right now. Name it Test. Okay. Save and continue. All right, I've got a wallet set up. Now what? It says force it here, so I'm gonna airdrop myself some IOTA tokens. Click on the force it button. Maybe I've got to tap on it a little bit harder. Oh, there we go. Took a second or two. All right, so let's time. Let's see how long it takes. I'm gonna tap force it now. And there we go. It has uh, increased the balance. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the IOTA token here and I've got some options I can deposit and send what does deposit mean I'm gonna click deposit here oh okay that's the receive address no worries merge coins you have three objects to merge I don't know what that means let's click on it okay let's click merge finished close I don't know what I just did there guys So let's go ahead and tap on it again, just to see what's going on here. <sighs> I don't know, maybe it was emerging, maybe it was like bringing the faucet tokens onto the test net or something. I don't know what that means. But anyway, we've got our tokens here and we can also see that we've got a stake option next to the faucet there. So I'm just going to tap on stake. And here we've got an option for regular staking. Let's go ahead and do that. And I know that Nightly has itself got a validator node. So, okay. I'm going to click plus here because we haven't added a stake already. Oh, and this is interesting. Okay. So it's telling us 2% fee. There's 10% here from DLT Green. Now, is that how much we get as a, as a delegator? 10%? Don't know. Look at all these validators, guys. Your year. Very decentralized. Okay, let's go, just go ahead and click nightly for now. I'm going to select the maximum amount of my iota to stake. And here it tells me the commission, which is 2%. S sorry, guys, I should have investigated, and I'm not going to investigate it right now to figure out what these means. But 2% might be what I'm going to make on the iota that I delegate to the nightly validator. Perhaps. I don't know. Oh, it's telling me their total stake is 2 million iota. So the rewards are distributed between the validators depending on how much iota they are delegating. So the more someone delegate, so the more a validator delegates, likely the more they're gonna get in iotas per epoch, which is over a 24 hour period. And it says that their staking share is 0.7%. Fee, what does fee mean? I don't know, is that how much I get per day? Probably. So I'm just gonna create that position. And there we go, successfully staked. Okay, let's go ahead and close this. And now we can see my wallet has got like zero IOTA in it. And this is because I'm actively delegating my IOTA to the nightly validator. So let's go ahead and click on stake again. Regular staking. I don't know what other kinds of staking you could have. And we can see here that it's pending. I'm gonna go ahead and click pending because I just wanted to see if I could unstake it. Uh, but the option's not there because the status is currently pending. Okay, no problem. But I assume that that's how easy it is to remove it. There you go, guys. An introduction to uh, 
to iota staking on nightly now now i'm gonna have to go ahead and do some walkthroughs once the rebased action happens and we've moved to the move ledger because i'm not sure if there's a migration effort yet i'll have to investigate that for you and feed that back through once i find out but for the time being that's it for nightly and i love the little animations so if anyone from the nightly team sees that thank you for the animations and i hope to see more of these apps coming out soon now all we need is a flood of daps and a pamp well it's been a quiet week on the lead up to the big release i want to thank you all for the kind messages and support you've shown me on my first episode back and this is hopefully the big year we've all been waiting for but if there's anything that holding through multiple bear markets should have taught us by now, it's the importance of touching grass and living in the moment. Yes, I believe big things will come, but we can't pin all of our hopes and dreams on this big moment. So guys, make sure that you always risk manage, take some profits where you can. And look, if you ever find yourself feeling down, all you have to do is remember, $4 EOY. See you next time.